YouTube, what is up? It's AD here with US Squads. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We have a new camera set up, so we're going to beta test it, see how it works out for our videos. But today, we have a very nice semi automatic pistol to talk about. This is the Six Sour P226 Elite Platinum Edition. Yeah, it's the Platinum Edition, as you can tell by the super custom pearl, silver, white, aluminum grip. This thing is one very, very nice pistol. Um, <clears throat> in the background, you'll see the Glock 17. I just have it for size comparison. You guys know I'm a fan of the Glock. It's not a pretty pistol. It's not fancy, but it works. 550 MSRP. This SIG, um, I believe, is 1250, 1229 MSRP. Uh, twice as expensive as this Glock. But, you know, it's pretty much comes from Six Hours Custom Shop. Picatinny rails, thing has adjustable. I'm not 100% sure if it has tritium sights. It says combat night sights on the website, but I don't know if those are tritium sights or kind of a luminescent rechargeable deal. You know what, actually I see some markings on the side here. You know, I, I would assume that these are tritium sights in one way, form, or another. And they're not trigicons or anything. Particularly uh, calibered in two different chain, two different uh, calibers 9mm and 40 SW uh, double action single action pistol as far as the double action pull it's at 10 pounds and then when you have a single action pull you're at 4.4 pounds now this trigger is supposed to be their short reset trigger it has a lot of fancy numbers as far as it being it's basically a comp similar to a competition trigger very fast fast locking very smooth People who uh, know SIGs and shoot the 226 or other semi-automatic models that they have realize that this is a pretty nice pistol. I mean, it just shoots really smooth. Um, I've shot them in the past. I can't say I've shot the 40 Smith & Wesson, but I shot a 9 uh, Combat, I think the uh, tactical model. It was like butter. thing was awesome. Um, you know, the adjustable sights, the extended beaver tail. Um, the frame is made in Germany. The I think other components are made in New Hampshire, but I believe SIG is a Swiss company and they subsidize out of Germany and SIG Arms or SIG um, USA. I, don't, I can't remember what company it is, but there's also a branch that makes components in the USA. So uh, SIG's been around and it's like, you know, the high end of the high end market of the pistol market um, you basically have this 226 has there's like 15 different models although the base is pretty much same but you can tweak things out and get some custom work done and it's kind of cool because if you want to look at some of the markings here you have uh, your takedown takedown um, lever here that's very similar to many many pistols but you'll see the six hour custom shop here you also see the aluminum grips mag release which is not ambidextrous um, I don't know if you can switch that and make that ambidextrous with some tweaking but uh, this magazine holds 40 Smith & Wesson and I believe it's 13 rounds or 12 rounds so 12 plus 1 you have your decocker lever here so basically when you have that hammer pulled back this will safely decock the pistol to make it uh, make the trigger pull a lot safer 10 pounds versus 4.4 slide lock is here by your thumb so as we rack that back we'll we can lock the slide back adjustable sights and then you have the extended beaver tail here I guess that you know ergonomics and then you have this really nice finish work on the metal slide here really nice finish work so so that's pretty much uh, all there is to it this is all metal uh, heavy definitely heavier than your Glock pistol but very very nice pistol now I'm gonna do a field strip video on this um, I don't know if it'll be a consecutive episode directly after this I will film it and then when I have time I'll post that video online but you know is it worth it it depends it depends I mean you know a Ford F-150 does the same thing as a I don't know a fancy truck would do I don't know that's all loaded up it just depends this is a tactical practical lock it's gonna do what it's got to do it's gonna when you pull the trigger a bullet comes out um, this also does the same thing it's definitely as far as aesthetics goes really really nice pistol you know I could take my Glock and drop in you know a competition trigger and do some tweaks to it and still save three four hundred dollars versus spending 
$1,200 on this particular pistol, but you know, it is what it is. If you want a badass looking super SIG with that comes from their custom shop and you want to spend a thousand bucks, hey, it's your money. You got to do what you got to do. And you know, it's your taste, your prerogative. I'm not going to look down on anybody who thinks that they want to spend a thousand dollars on a pistol. I spend quite a bit of money on my ARs where you know I could have that dumbed down a bit but I don't want to I want the I want it custom I want it the way I want it so I uh, hope you guys like the video any questions or comments about the SIGs any feedback positive comments are, are definitely welcome um, any negative things that you that you owners have that you don't like about this pistol helps other people that might be interested in this particular pistol but I, I'm a fan I've shot the 226 I believe the tactical version in 9 millimeter and I shot about 400 rounds through it and was very, very happy with that pistol. I just, you know, I'm not going to cough up a grand on the pistol personally. I rather, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my good old-fashioned Glocks that are just kind of ugly, but you know what, they work. I can beat them up and I never, ever worry about anything about them. I just beat them up and they work. These, this is a little too pretty for me, but I'm going to filter strip this bad boy and get it cleaned up. Appreciate you guys watching. Comments below. If you like my video, subscribe. And uh, talk to you guys soon. You guys have a great day.